Hey guys, it's me, B Mariah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get this beautiful wing fierce cat eyeliner. So make sure to follow along and also don't forget, give me a thumbs up. So to create my cat eye today, I am going to be using Milani Stay Put Matte Liner. This is a liquid liner and it's just a liner that I've been using recently. I really like it but I'm not stuck to it. It is a stiff brush so that's really key as far as getting a, an exact line. So I'm going to start on the outer edge of my eye and I'm going to work my way in. So I just like start on the outer corner and I drag the line inward and then if I'm working forward back I have to switch the brush to go the opposite way. So now you can kind of see I've begun the line. The thing is that most people think when they're creating a cat eye that the key is to get the line drastically outward, but in reality, when you're creating a cat eye or a nice wing liner, you almost want it to start up and slant down. That's gonna really create that dramatic cat eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on the outer corner and I'm gonna drastically start up Drag the, connect this line. I know it's kind of crazy, it looks crazy doing this, but now I'm just gonna fill in this little bottom portion here. And I'm gonna go from my outer corner of my eye and draw up. That's what really creates that drastic eye, is making sure that this is up and not out. I guess it's both, up and out. As you can see, I really didn't take it too far into my inner corner. I am going to probably extend this line just a little bit, but not too much because this already gives me that drastic cat eye that I'm looking for. Look at the difference. And as you see, I'm drawing soft, small strokes. I'm not going full speed, trying to get it all in one hit. I'm just slowly making small marks. That way the, there's smaller room for error. Now moving on to my next eye, I really want to make sure that this looks as even as possible. So I'm going to do the same thing starting on the outer corner, dragging the first line down towards my eye and then connecting the wing. Make sure that you really examine both eyes to see where you're going to start and make sure that it's lined up. want to have a angled shadow brush and also a black eyeshadow. So now this black eyeshadow, I'm going to go over my line trying to even everything out. If you do already have your makeup done, you want to be careful not to get fallout on your eyes, on your face. And as you can see, I'm kind of just pressing the shadow onto my lid. I'm not really so much as wiping. Starting to look a little better.
So I just want to point out that my eyeliners, or my eyeliner on both of my eyes are actually quite uneven and I really wanted to point this out to you guys because I know that it's frustrating when you're doing your eyeliner because you see it as uneven, but our eyes are never exact. If there's anybody in this world that has like perfect eyes, I haven't seen it yet. Our eyes are sisters, not twins, I guess is what kind of most people say. My liner on this side here is much thicker and if you look closely here on the outer corner, it kind of looks a little jagged and thick and just crazy. It frustrates me, but on this side, you can really see it looks nice and smooth, straight. It's just completely solid. Uh, it's a little bit thinner here on the bottom compared to this eye. However, I know that looking out, when people look at me, it makes it look so much more even because of the way my eye is shaped. This one is a bit more hooded. So I do have to create a thicker line to even it out. If I made it exactly like this eye, it'd probably be more obvious my unevenness in my eye, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so basically what I'm trying to say is just knowing your eyes is very important when creating a wing liner, especially something as drastic as a cat eye like this, because you want to be able to create the most even liner as possible and sometimes that means making it a little bit thicker on one side versus the other. One thing I also want to point out is that I kind of went back and forth between my liner and using a little bit of eyeshadow and that is because it helps to just fill in the gaps instead of just kind of taking my liner and going straight in creating like a full wing which is very difficult. It's easier to just kind of create it a little at a time and then going with your eyeshadow, which gives you a little bit more control and fixing up any unevenness and then going back over it if you would like with your actual liquid liner, just little by little, step by step. It's not gonna be something that you're just gonna be able to do on those days where you have 10 minutes to get ready. This is definitely something that you have to take your time with. Even me as a professional, like, I'm st I still haven't perfected it to just do it in one line and go. It takes time and knowing your eyes, of course. So two key tips that I would like to give you guys as far as creating the perfect wing or cat eyeliner. And tip number one is just to put your hair back in a high ponytail or any kind of ponytail that just like brings your eyes pulled out because it just really helps to make that cat eye that much more drastic and it also allows you to see how your eyes are as far as the evenness. And tip number two is when creating your shadow or the look that you're going for, of course you can do something very similar to what I did. You can go all natural with no or minimal shadow, but if you are creating a drastic cat eye look, I would recommend keeping the shadow up high and just slightly out. You want that liner to really drag out further than your shadow to really give you that cat eye look. Thanks guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you guys to get your perfect wing liner. Make sure to subscribe as always if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next video. Mwah.